Support for WCBU's On Deck comes from Jack Ward Land Rover Peoria on Allen Road. Special offers available on nearly every new Jaguar with personalized service throughout purchasing and ownership. Jaguar, a proud luxury and performance brand. More at jaguarlandroverpeoria.com. A vital Washington road creates calls for improvements. That's just one of the things you'll want to hear about to start your day for Thursday, June 13th. I'm Colin Shope, and this is WCBU's On Deck. First on deck today, the Peoria Public Works Department is taking the next steps toward a long-planned extension of the Rock Island Greenway. WCBU's Joe Deacon reports. Public Works Deputy Director Andrea Kloffenstein says the goal of the final phase is to connect the shared-use path from Park Avenue to the existing riverfront trail system. The path it would take is from Park to Abington, it's along the old railroad right away. So the railroad tracks are still there. Those would come out. The path would go in. From there, the path would proceed along Abington, crossing Adams to Grant Street, then following the Corps of Engineers driveway to Detweiler Marina. Kloffenstein says they were originally awarded a $700,000 grant through the federally funded Illinois Transportation Enhancement Program, but they returned the money after determining they had underestimated the cost of the project. She says they now will apply for a grant of around $1 million for construction and engineering costs. If we don't receive the grant, then we'll have to go back to the drawing board to try and find funding to fund the project. Peoria Park District Executive Director Emily Cahill says they are eager to see the Greenway expanded. Not many communities the size of Peoria can talk about having 52 miles of trails, of which you know the Rock Island Greenway is a significant part of that total. An informational public meeting on the project is scheduled for 5.30 this afternoon at the Woodruff Career and Technical Center. For WCBU's On Deck, I'm Joe Deacon. Here are some other stories we're following in the WCBU newsroom. The Peoria Area Chamber of Commerce's next president and CEO comes from within. And the Peoria Police Co-Responder Program will be based out of the Peoria Township Building. You can find more of these stories and all the details at WCBU.org. Whether you realize it or not, you've probably driven on Business Route 24. The major thoroughfare starts where Route 8 ends on the western edge of Washington. It's the city's main east-west commercial corridor, with everything from restaurants to shopping centers to the historic Washington Square. It's an identity-defining road for the central Illinois town, and Mayor Gary Manier avoids it if he can. Even going to and from City Hall, I'll, I'll take uh, Jefferson Street before I'll take uh, Business 24 to and from City Hall. But uh, it, it's sad because not everybody knows it's a, a state highway. Manier says he hears horror stories from residents of flat tires and bent rims. City staff know the drill, direct complaints to the Illinois Department of Transportation. It's a dynamic he says the city has been aware of and residents have felt for more than a decade. IDOT, I know they have a shortage of employees and uh, they're, they're struggling a little bit, but uh, it's a process and until they release the money and say it's a go, uh, we, we just have to sit and wait. So we're uh, and Dennis can speak more to this, but the engineering is going to take probably th two or three years, if not four. Dennis Carr is Washington's city engineer. He says there's a lot of moving pieces to making a project happen, from the lengthy engineering process to hammering out land acquisition arrangements with the dozens of businesses along the route. But any landowner that doesn't want to get rid of their property or doesn't want to allow the right-of-way acquisition could definitely hold a project like this up uh, for the long term. However, there's little indication a business owner would step in the way of the project. They're no big fans of Business 24's condition themselves. Just ask Joe Russell, owner of Russell's Cycling and Fitness. I don't even drive that section of the road. I operate a business here. I live a mile from here. I don't use that mile of road. It is messing with the brand of Washington. 
It is not what we do. It's not what we're known for. Russell says improvements to the road wouldn't just mean increased business attraction. It would mean a better quality of life for the community. But let's talk about our automobiles. The, the bang that our tires are, are wearing, the vehicles are taking, um, the recklessness that it provides. You'll see people trying to make some kind of a, a stuntman move with their car in order to avoid the chuckle, avoid the you know, asphalt that's humped up, avoid the dip, the crack. Mayor Manier does acknowledge that IDOT are typically dutiful about getting potholes filled or spray patching done, but he calls these band-aid fixes. It's uh, especially that hot mix or cold mix, a lot of that first good rainfall or a freeze and uh, snow, snow event with snow plows uh, going up and down Business 24, a lot of that will just get shaken loose and, and come right back out. According to City Hall, Russell isn't alone. City engineer Carr says a handful of business owners along the corridor have started meeting to discuss improvements they'd like to see whenever an IDOT project does happen. He won't share which businesses are involved, but says the granular details of what they're talking about include things like pedestrian usage, bike lanes, landscaping, and green spacing choices. While the design of a future Business Route 24 could take any number of forms, one thing for certain. It's going to be expensive. Manier previously told WCBU 53 million is allocated to a project in the 2019 Rebuild Illinois Capital Bill. He says that's an old estimate, and there's no real telling what the total price tag would be now, with increasing fuel costs, rising employee wages, and pricier construction materials. It's going to be a slow process, so uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what what the end date will be before that road is completely uh, reconstructed. WCBU reached out to IDOT to get an update on plans for Business Route 24. IDOT sent a short statement, quote, Currently, we're working on an interim project to address some short-term issues to address the deteriorating pavement condition. Whatever form an interim project takes and however long it takes to bridge to a longer-term solution, Washington residents like Joe Russell are just waiting to see any movement. We're apathetic about it. We're just, you're kidding me. We're calloused over. We're, we're, and then we're fighting mad. <laughs> so all three at once. Now, before we let you go, today is the regular meeting of the Peoria County Board. Those meetings start at 6 p.m. on the fourth floor of the Peoria County Courthouse. And that's all for today. You can subscribe to WCVU's On Deck podcast on the NPR app, Apple, or Spotify.